previously on Master Detective Archives Ring Code. Better be careful, Master. My silly start going. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Shut up! That's Nubby! Thing's way too adorable. His teeth aren't sharp. It's not fucking black and white. Not nearly identifiable enough to be a cute demon mascot. And you're not even saying it right. It's not poo hoo hoo. It's and now back to Yuma Crackhead. Hello! B! Back with some more Master Detective Archives ring code. When we last left off, ah, uh, Yuma doesn't feel so good. Uh, also, I need to take a piss. But that's okay, Yuma, because your otherworldly death god is here now. Yes, it turns out Yuma had actually given up his memories in order to form a bonding contract with the uh, death god by the name of shinigami a little fat purple ghost friend that's just slightly nicer than monokuma but no less referential <laughs> however we don't have time to even think about that because oh my god Caddy's gonna get stabbed and there's on fire oh god he's dead that must mean i have to figure out who among my trusted companions must have been the killer oh wait they're all dead too that one, and that one, and that one, and oh my god, that one too. Wow. Wow. Wait, so I guess I, I, I did? Did I kill them? Did I do it? Is this like a V3 thing again or something? Why are you asking me? Stop looking at me like that. And oh my god, the police are here. Who the heck is that guy with the teeth? Why does he love money so much? Why are you turning into a voluptuous anime girl? No time for questions. Get in the portal. Ah! And uh, yeah. So uh, that happened, and I don't honestly know what to say about it. I, I don't, I, I still don't know if I fully believe it, that they're really freaking gone for the rest of the game. Needless to say, all the comments were about that last episode, but I'm like, I just, did he really do that? I mean, I know this is Kadaka we're talking about. He loves doing shit like this. But at the same time, dude, that's, that's fucking five characters. Five characters who have like splash art and portraits and like a lot of work had to get put into them and their character models. They're on the cover of the box and they would would he actually kill them off in literally like the opening hour of the game and they're never coming back. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I feel like there could be a chance that like we're gonna go to this whatever the hell mystery labyrinth thing she was talking about and then we'll have a way to like undo it maybe that's my power of a death god i can undo the deaths of other people or something i don't know man i'm in like hella denial right now because that shit is crazy to me but along those same lines uh last episode a uh, real name me said uh Rui. all right mr gadaka i finished drafting up zange's design i think he looks really cool he has an old mysterious detective vibe to him that i think the players will really appreciate so, what role did you have in mind for him anyways? Kadaka, ah, I'm killing him off in five minutes. Yeah, that sounds good. Y you're what? Yeah, I'm murdered. Gonna lie him on fire. Be super cool. Then how about Pucci? I think the players will really hurt too. And what about Malami? And Apex, and even the furry guy? Oh, especially the furry guy. Keep up the good work. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. That's all legit. I, legit, I think that's how that shit had to have gone. If this is truly the way it is. If it is in reality, these guys are not coming back. Absolutely, that shit had to, had to have happened. The Rui's like, are you kidding me? I'm gonna have to spend all this time to draw up these characters that aren't gonna matter at all to anything. And you know what the worst part of this is, guys? You know what the freaking worst part of this is? Is that if they're actually dead, I won't be able to use their freaking splash art of the thumbnails. That's literally five characters worth, five full episodes worth of thumbnails out the window. That's a bullshit Kanaka. Come on. I was thinking, oh man, wouldn't it be great? I'm gonna have the have this series. I'm gonna be just like the old days where I could just use their the amazing splash art and the thumbnails. It'll look so cool and eye-catching and just like the Don Ropa days, man. Like, oh, it'll be so good. And boom, five episodes fucking dead. You know what though? I don't give a shit, all right? I'm gonna find some way to use those things. If they are actually dead, if they're actually dead, maybe they'll come back though. I'm going to hold out hope until at least the end of this chapter. For real name, thank you so much for your incredibly accurate and horrendously depressing comment. And there's no reason you are comment of the day. So yeah, if this really is the case, truly that this is the, the end and those characters died and they don't come back. All I got to say is, well, one, there has got to be way more characters in this game to help fill that the like the fact that these guys are gone. I mean, it's supposed to be a thousand master detectives, right? 
Maybe it's supposed to be like the cover of the box is just to to misdirect us. Maybe there's like way more fucking characters in this game than what's actually shown on the cover of the box. Because I think that's like, I think every one of those characters is on the cover. That leaves like three or four. <laughs> I'm actually not sure if the big teeth guy was on there. I have to kind of look again. Oh, he is. No, no, there's a lot of characters on the box art. There's actually dudes in the bottom I didn't even see. There's like dudes down the bottom. I don't want to look too hard because I don't want to spoil myself too much, but... But I mean, that's like a good, like, at least third of them dead. But I will say, like, the initial, like, feeling then, if that really is the case, it does feel a little bit like wasted potential. This is a little different than even, I'd say, what happened with the MV3 with Kaide, right? Because that was just, like, one character that you thought was the main character, but really wasn't. This is five new characters that are seemingly just gone. And I thought that some of them were pretty cool and had some really cool designs. I like Poochie. I was hoping that'd be, like, maybe, like, a a cute budding friendship slash romance between her and Yuma, you know? Like, I don't know, I just, I am a little like, ah. But at the same time, I can't really say that it was like, it's hard to say whether their deaths were a complete waste until you get to the end of the story, right? Because it could be that their their deaths serve a grander narrative purpose. The thing that George R. R. Martin was so good at in Game of Thrones, characters would die and it always felt like anybody could die at any moment, right? Um, and their deaths sometimes felt like, oh, at, at the moment, it feel like twist for the sake of being twist just to fuck with you. And, you know, there's no reason for it. Why? You just killed like a billion main characters. That's fucked up, dude. But by the end of the story, you realize that all of these deaths do actually contribute to something. They are leading to a, a, a purpose. They have a reason aside from simply being a twist. So I can't really say, given what we know, so far, which is honestly not much. This game's really just started. Whether these deaths are actually, you know, just for the t a big twist and that's it, or if there's more to it. I'd like to hope that there's gonna be more to it than just being a twist. I mean, it, it is a twist, right? This is something that Kadaka does a lot. And in the first cases for a lot of his games tend to have at least a little bit of something. But this is easily, I think, his craziest one. This one's absolutely bonkers. So anyway, uh, oh, and by the way, to everyone who was like, Oh, and like, I can't believe any fucking comment people have commented this shit. Like, oh, man, Nico's so surprised with the massacre on the massacre on the Amateur Rasu Express ended up having a massacre on it. Oh, my God. First off, fuck you. Second of all, that didn't mean all of the characters that I just met were going to die. Hell, the massacre could have been before we got there. I was going to find, like, other dead bodies or even a couple of characters, but not every fucking character. <sighs> all right. Um, I'm ready to see like what the hell this is going on here. I, Cause again, I know so little about what this game's fucking gameplay even is. There's still like a billion options on my little main menu that I haven't even unlocked yet. So like, what what's happening? What are we gonna do here? What's a mystery lab or labyrinth? Let's fucking find out. Oh good, Zangis Kane used to assist with walking, but doubles as a weapon in emergencies. Clearly didn't fucking help him at all. Motherfucker's dead. What the hell? The circus? Or <laughs> fucking Vegas? Ooh, cool cape. Is that the Abstergo logo on my back? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> A little scream of this. Is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? And also for my giant boobies! I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. Well, it's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe? Yeah, that's real. actually in this form. She's giving off some mega Junko vibes. <laughs> with her zany, her zany personality and stuff. I will say though, I will say my biggest worry when I first saw some of the stuff with uh, this character and, and Yuma is I was a little worried that this character would just be annoying as fuck, right? Cause I, they were showing like a lot of her just like being goofy and everything and it, it almost seemed like too much, but I will give it to uh, Kadaka at least. He's actually 
pulling, like, he's not going so fucking hard. Not every line she says is literally just like fucking around, right? I mean, she's fucking around a good bit, but she is actually like clearly intelligent and level-headed and does like want to actually help Yuma, for what I can tell. Like, she's not just like trolling him the whole fucking time. And that's good. Like, we, you need that, right? We as the players actually need that too. Because this shit is confusing. And also just because too much of it really would get annoying. So I think it's actually, I think they're balancing it so far pretty well. You don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome. <laughs> and you probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out. Ta-da! This is the mystery labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Huh. Damn. Zaka going hard with the supernatural shit. I wonder how this is going to function. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. So it's interesting, right? Like, it does me wonder then what my forte actually is. Because I, I don't know if, like, me being bound to a death god is necessarily a forte. Like, I gave up something to get this, right? That's not what the, all the other guys have. They just, to, like, learn these abilities. They have their specialized thing. Maybe I the ability to commune with the dead, to commune with the death god is what my forte is? I don't know. It's I, I will be curious to see what how I'm classified, because this seems like almost anybody could have done this, seemingly. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. And that's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway, Master, we're going to beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. Yeah? Does that involve bringing back all those interesting characters that died? Maybe? Shigami? What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. And then, what? Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. I guess if we just, like, arrest him? <laughs> it, yeah, I don't know, dude. This is kind of, like, kind of a wild one. I am trying to think about, like, how, who and how this is possible. The only thing I can potentially think of is, like, one of the, one of the people on board, right, is clearly the, was not the real one of the master detectives, somebody, they killed everybody else and then killed themselves or something. We'll discover the killer's identity too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. They're two sides of the same coin. Yeah, and you also helped me get away from the cops. That was, that was helpful. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. So you're saying there are traps in there? Yep, looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Hold on, I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from the murder on the Amaterasu Express. Yep, you're right so far. So, if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going, the Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yep, you totally get it! What? I don't get anything! That's <laughs> no logical sense! <laughs> I like also like Yuma's reactions to stuff, right? They feel very, very genuine and it's very like he's like, he's right, this doesn't make any fucking sense. What the fuck is this shit? Sheesh! This is why you're a bench warmer detective. You're in an alternate universe and hung up on details. Of course I am! Okay, uh I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. 
If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. Okay. That'll make all your worries disappear. No, it won't. Please explain everything now. I tell you what, Kanaka sure loves his booby characters, doesn't he? Always gotta have a big old pair of titties in that game. A few of them even better. A lot of times even more than a few titties. Roll up in the grill, just throw them up there, going. Thank you, Ashina. No problem. That's what I'm here for. All right, who else wants to see my titties? Titties! Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Whoopsie. What now? <laughs> keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kind of had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board mm. the Amaterasu Express. Oh, okay, here we go. I was like, because I was wondering, I'm like, I examined everything, but no nothing got added to my menu or, or anything or like case files. It's because this. Now we're like introduced to this, and she explained, okay, solution keys, and now that's gonna get probably added to my menu. So now I'm gonna think about everything that I've I, I saw when I was there. The Amaterasu Express? Uh That's a lot, you're asking. The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. Yay! Oh God! Ah! Solution key. <laughs> Why? Why? Why did you have to throw it? Up? Oh God! Ah, oh, God, it's fucking... God, it's fucking me all over again. Yeah. So this is a solution key. But why did it come out of your mouth? So these are essentially acting as your truth bullets in this game. Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Let's keep reviewing what happened in this case. All right, I'll do my best. <laughs> I don't want to make you do that again, though. Too bad. Ah. Uh, the incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving, including myself. There were six master detectives on board. Apex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Okay. And who died first again? Zilch. It was Zilch in the first car's infirmary. I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. Okay. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Mm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then, Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Okay. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melanie's corpse there. I 
think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe! Hmm. You know, I'm almost wondering if the fact that her hair and eyelashes and everything are still, like, there? I don't know. Well, the other one's, like, lost all their hair and stuff. I mean, I guess it could just be, like, time burned or whatever. But I'm almost wondering if, like, the hair was, like, removed and then put on somebody else. Maybe. Similarly, uh, Bagman's uh, fucking body had the necklace put on to him, right? I don't know. I mean, I feel like that or that could have had a necklace put on to him to make it look to, to make a body look like his. That reminds me. Something was off about car two right before the train entered the tunnel. There was a strange shaking. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure. Oh, uh, wind stop. And there was a blackout right after. Although it only lasted a moment. Yeah. What was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? No. When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. There was something else too. Something that happened when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. Put it in my brain! Okay. And the next corpse. Was the little girl in the third car? Yeah, it was Poochie. Another burnt body. Just like the first two cars. Poochie's is the most fucked up, too. It's like... It was a little babu. I guess their hair's still kind of there, though, too. Yeah, wasn't there a secret face thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system after one second. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? Okay. The train never stopped, so it doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. <laughs> anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. It's gonna be something about this picture here is gonna come in come into play, right? Something about this picture is supposed to, is gonna be indicative of like me something with Melanie here. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. Yeah. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. I wonder if there's like any chance that like, that somehow this body here is the is Zilch's body that we just came came uh, across before, and somehow got like moved over here before we got there. I, I like some crazy. I don't know. Like I'm trying to like, you know, turn them off and get out or so you know, just like I'm, like trying to think of like what kind of crazy twists here. So in reality, like that, and then that would mean that someone else was actually still alive or something. You know, like oh wait, w someone didn't die, and then maybe it was actually Bagman. He killed everybody. Also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. Oh, 
And the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Wait a minute, I just realized this is a this is a sliding lock on a sliding door. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Would that work? <laughs> uh I mean, I guess you could push it in and then it sticks in the door, but usually it's like a twisty thing, like a twisty knob that like locks in. I mean, I guess it, uh, maybe it could work. It probably just locks in place. Uh-huh. So I guess that does it for our review of the case. Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, According to the Peacekeeper's reports, they all burned to death. But that part seems off to me. Uh, because of the stab wound? And they also mentioned there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Yeah. Well, I mean, who gave me the drink, right? It was Melamy. So did Melamy knock us out? Or, and knock me out? Did you knock everybody else out too? I didn't see, we didn't see anybody else drink anything though. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. <gasps> hmm. Yeah! Thank you. What a big catch! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. Yours truly is important too. A solution key is a manifestation of clues related to a case. You can acquire or update one by investigating the case and moving the story along. Sure, hope you got all that down. Acquired solution keys can be viewed in the notebook. Try checking one out if a mystery becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. Shinigami's tutorial corner. Hey, here we go, skills. Labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear um, mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you get when your detective rank increases. Hey, Master, do you need a power up? Oh my god, it's a fucking skill tree? Labyrinth skills can be checked and acquired in the ability section of the notebook menu. Set whichever skills suit you best. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires a memory cost, so pay attention to how much you have left. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. Okay. Will things really turn out fine? I keep sure it's fluttery. Rawr! Come on in, kid! Whoa. Some kind of like Mayan ruins here. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. Me too. You're what? <laughs> You're what? Better write this down. There are places in the mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the scene plays out, so keep following the path until it does. Oh, interesting. My camera... So can't go back. Okay. Cannot turn the other direction. Uh, alright. All these solution keys. The solution keys, you can the information of acquired solution keys. Th thanks, game. Yes, thank you. Insightful. You can enlarge the images too, that's handy. All right, abilities. Attention. Abilities, you can check the master stats as well as acquire set uh, and set labyrinth skills. In stats, you can check the master detective's rank, detective points to see the effects of skills when they're set. The skills can be acquired by skill mass you want and spending SP. You can activate labyrinth skills by setting them, but it requires a memory cost to pay attention. All right, detective rank five, memory cap four. So I can have maximum four on. What the hell? Strength and evasion? What the fuck? Stamina? I guess that must be like my... Like, it's gonna be like my my quote-unquote HP bar, right? In the trial section. Which gets, you know, decreases I, you know, fuck up. 
Uh, I guess we'll start with this one. So, increase stamina by 100. Ta-da! Uh, equip it? Sure. In Shinigami puzzle sequences, remove one solution key Shinigami will barf up. In Reasoning Deathmatch sequences, shorten the assist ability's recovery time. This one sounds like it might be useful. Especially you decrease how many... Oopsies. How many uh, potential options I have, right? In Solution Key se sequences, remove one incorrect solution key. The number of selectable solution keys cannot be one or less. Endless Summer. During Shinigami puzzle sequences, slow down the rotation of Shinigami's barrel. Guess we'll go ahead and get the stand by me. Equip that as well. Oh, interesting. When, if I get another one, uh, combined with that one, it'll go even faster. But if equipped alone, it will have the exact same effect. Repel Revelation. In reasoning death se match sequences, reduce the number of colored words in the mystery phantom statements, making it easier to identify what to repel. Oh, interesting. They all have stats associated with them. I see like evasion strength. Am I getting like additional stats from this i guess i'll go with this one the key my the key meister one yeah so now i got a star in strength very interesting this almost seems more rpg like than even uh uh don ropa in terms of how they're like your stats are all right uh shinigami likes yuma dislikes boredom and death god a death god contracted to haunt Yuma, only visible to Yuma, Shinigami, is constantly floating and bobbing along at his side. Though cheerful and chatty, this death god's sense of morality is quite removed from that of humans. Shinigami's true form. Her personality is no different from when she's in her spirit form, so she can, she's continues to enjoy teasing Yuma. She's going to a path to the mystery labyrinth, which is, is the manifestation of mysteries from the real world. She has many special abilities inside the mystery labyrinth that can aid Yuma in solving it. Swank Casta... Katsunel. A member of the Amaterasu Corporation Peacekeepers, he loves money almost as much as he loves eating. He laughs at the misfortunes of others and abuses authority to get his way. Condescending and prideful, he's merciless towards those who defy him. He likes fatty sirloin steak. I thought I was going to say for sure he likes money. Just likes fish. Peacekeeper talent is speed eating. Yeah, it still has his listed as question mark what his talent is. Her talent is the mystery labyrinth thing, so. Uh, all right, we are running. Things are, whoa, whoa, ah. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm just pressing buttons to see if things happen. Yuma, can you run any faster than this? Holy shit. Cool, this is, this is kind of neat, actually. Wow, thinking windows and stuff, ugh. Hey, did something move just now? Oh, that's a cue. Ooh, is that a monster living in the mystery labyrinth? They're not exactly monsters. You are part of the mystery labyrinth itself. They're what materialize the mysteries. The, I'm guessing Q's for like question? You have no intelligence or autonomy. All they do is manifest the mysteries in the labyrinths. But since you are here to defeat mysteries, they're kind of like obstacles. So in other words, they're the enemy. Of course. As a detective seeking the truth, mysteries are your greatest enemy. Okay. Oh, oh, man, this thing's way down here. I don't think I have a jump button or anything. There was no platforming or anything I have to worry about. What the fuck? What is that? <laughs> what the fuck? What's that guy doing here? Why does he look so crazy? Ugh. I am a shadow of the true self. What the? There are monsters here. That's a mystery phantom. A mystery phantom? What's that? I told you that cues make mysteries materialize, right? Well, if there's someone in the real world trying to interfere with the case, that person also materializes. What? That's a mystery phantom. Why does he so look so psychedelic? Interfering with the case? Hey, doesn't he kind of look like Swank of the Peacekeepers? Swank! If the Peacekeepers are tied up in this, 
Then maybe this incident has something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe this is all a setup. This is all like a setup from them or something, you know? So he's already showing up here, which shows that he is actually trying to get in the way, which is why his statement is weird to us, right? You. You're the culprit. Huh? What the fuck? Patrol's going crazy. It's getting bigger. It's a big boy. Damn boy. Since all the other passengers on the train are dead, you're the only one who could have done the crime. So you're the culprit. That's the truth behind this case. Master, he's trying to frame you to bury the case. If you can't get past this, you can't reach the truth. No fucking shit! Tell me something I don't know! What do I do? Should I just run away? You know, I gotta fucking kill him. You're stupid to shove him, you want. A detective doesn't run from a mystery. You gotta defeat him. Defeat him? How? You see how big he is? How small I am? Are you ready to give your life for the truth? Fuck no! I don't know these people. I don't know their own shit. Huh? Just say I am. No. Say it. No. Say it. No, I don't want to. Fucking say. It. Okay. Fine. I, I am. Uh, oh. Oh, hey, okay. Okay, what we do what we what we whoa you're very close. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Booba physics. Are you placing my hands in your tit? What the hell? Mmm, yeah. Oh, suck up my fingers. What? Uh, what the hell? Oh! <laughs> Damn, that must have been real painful keeping that in there. What is this, the sword of fucking truth? What? A sword? Oh my god, Keyblade! Keyblade! <laughs> is that a Keyblade? I know, I just... Let me have my weeby, weeby moment, please. I call it the Solution Blade. It's a sword with special powers to affect things inside the mystery labyrinth. I like my sort of truth idea better. It's a solution boy! Oh, fine. Use that to boom kill the mystery phantom. Let's do this. Why do you keep saying boom kill? Whoa, slow down. Uh, how do I use this? I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. Anyway. Gotta slice the contradictions, maybe? The damage you take here is nothing to sniff at. It's not like an injury in the real world, but still. The more and more your mind realizes you've been hurt here. Oh boy. Sorry, I, I give you a distract about your hurt in absolutely insane jiggle physics. You'll wind up brain dead. It'll be game over. Time to start from the beginning again. Damn it. No one wants that. So you'd better be super careful. Come on, pay attention. What the fuck? Oh my, <laughs> look, look at Yuma's goofy ass, happy little face up there. Why does he look so happy? We're about to die. Traps and obstacles lie in wait inside the mystery labyrinth. Make a mistake while facing them and master stamina will decrease. Master? It's game over when the stamina runs out. So be careful as you uncover the truth. Ah, shit. What the fuck? Okay, what do I do? I'm, I'm a scared. Da -da 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 -da. Gotta load the battle up. We're on a fucking switch, okay? Come on. Re reasoning death battle, okay. I'll tell you a mystery During the reasoning death match, a mystery phantom will attack Master while making statements about the case. Dodge, 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 dodge. Getting hit. <laughs> dodge, 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 dodge. Dink, dive, and dodge. Getting hit by a statement means taking damage, so move up, down, left, right to avoid it. Track it carefully and dodge. Okay. Come on, if you attention. dodge a statement the very last second, it becomes a daring dodge. Are you serious? I get like perfect dodges in this? The more daring dodges you make, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So give it a shot if you got the fucking guts. Don't you forget. The bonus, bonus for successful daring dodges is, is based on the max amount you can dodge in one cycle. Basically, there's no cap on how much you can get. Okay. Let any shady statements slip by. Inflammable statements give you a chance to counterattack. 
Statements might contain a contradiction. Slash through with Solution Blade and fight back against the Phantoms. To expose... Wow, cool shot of you, my ear. Uh, to expose a contradiction, you gotta pick the right solution key. The solution key is already set in the solution blade this time, so find the contradictory of inflammable statement and slash it. Okay, it's just gonna give it to me off the bat here. Slash those suspicious statements! If, wow, fucking gets ya! Gets ya! Oh my god, this, wow, this shit fucking is bleach! And I've, I got a shit of coming, I had like chain coming out of my chest when we landed down here. If you slash, slash the statement containing a contradiction with the right solution, you'll destroy it and damage the mystery phantom. Oh. Picking the wrong solution key or missing the timing means taking damage. Just some friendly reminder for yours truly. So rebuttal is X. Okay. All right. See so yeah, how this, uh, okay, so over. No need to try this out. You're the culprit behind this case. No, nope, that's You'll not it. Five bastard detectives. That's the yeah, like that. Uh-oh. Oh, dead. I have to uh, up. Okay. You're the only one who could have done the crime. Ah! This mystery. No, that's wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, that. Okay, this is kind of. I, I guess this would be kind of fun. There's no way I could have done it. I wasn't conscious the whole time because I drank the drugged coffee in the dining car. It's no use. Your deduction is wrong. Okay. Testimonies of two detectives. Photography image. Okay, it looks like there are more solution keys to choose from. The number of keys will change between RDMs. Use the correct key and slash through the contradiction in the inflammable statement. You better not be skimming over this. I already mentioned this, but attacking with the wrong solution key means taking damage, so be careful. So let me... Okay, good. I, I can't pause it. So what we got? Testimony of two detectives. Apex's life detection in Poochie's audio app to prove there are no other passengers aside from the six on there. Photography, you can pull information from his memories and project recorded footage onto the electric mediums. Okay, I think this is proof that I, I drank the, that I drank the tea. So I think I want to use that. Ridiculous, you're the culprit. Uh, uh. You knew it was drunk. Okay. That's how you avoided being knocked out. The other detectives were drugged. Whoa! And you went around killing them all. You're busted. You took the laced coffee and only pretended to drink it. Uh, oh wait, I hit the wrong button. Ah, oh shit, fuck. Master. Sorry, I I I I was I hit yeah. the wrong button. <laughs> oh, so you can fast forward as well. Drug and only pretended to drink it. Okay, here we go. Take this. Ah! Damn, it's fucking satisfying. The sounds of my controller going like Bruh! as I do that shit. The longest photography footage showed me drinking the coffee. That proves I wasn't faking anything. Cool. This is cool. I'm really liking this. Very much carrying on the role, the the essence of of Dog and Ropa. Did I defeat it. See, no matter how weak you are, things will turn out fine as long as I'm here. <laughs> he tried to frame me as the culprit. I guess that's what Amaterasu Corp is doing. They want to set you up and call it a day. That's why the peacekeepers barged in as soon as the train hit the station. They probably planned this. Huh. So they knew what was going to happen. Then the culprit works for Amaterasu? Or someone hired by them. Either way, the peacekeepers want to hide who did it. So the reason Control Headquarters didn't respond to the emergency calls was because of Amaterasu. Probably. Now that we know what they're aiming for, we're one step closer to the truth. Let's keep this up and unriddle this mystery labyrinth so we can get to the truth. You're awfully casual about this. My life is at stake here. Cool. All right. I'm, I'm digging this. 
I understand now that the mystery labyrinth is the case's mysteries given shape. By the way, voice acting in this game is great. But what do you do here, Shingon? Simply put, I'm the one and only cutie that can directly interact with the mystery labyrinth. The progress you've made in the mystery labyrinth and solving those mysteries here. It's all thanks to me. How are you able to do this? I don't know what to tell you. I've always been able to do this, so I forgot how. Huh. More importantly, you got drugged and knocked out. You are so pitiful, Master. Thank you. No wonder you're waddling around like a toddler. I thought I was dizzy because I've got this weird ghost thing haunting me. <laughs> huh? Making a pact with me won't make you dizzy. It just reduces your lifespan by a lot. You're kidding, right? Damn it. Some Death Note shit, right? fuck. <laughs> right? Anyway, who do you think is the culprit, Master? Do you have any guesses? Um, uh, if the drinks were drugs in the dining car, the culprit must have been on the train before anyone else. Oh, so then all you have to do is ask around and figure out what order everyone got on board. Hmm, okay. Oh, wait a minute. You can't, because they're all dead! You aren't taking this very seriously, are you? Okay. Which way should I go? This fork in the path is also a materialized mystery, so you should know which way to go if you solve it. Huh, okay. First, let's clarify what mystery this is exactly. Uh-huh. Uh, how do you do that? Like this. Ah! Huh? Oh! It's fine, jeez! Calm down, master. You're such a silly Billy. Just cut your jugular for like two seconds. Anyway, take a look. I'll use the blood of the truth seeker as a conduit to expose the mystery blocking the path. Yeah. Is the culprit one of the six on the train? Oh, okay. Is that a question? That's the mystery standing in your way. You just need to pick the right path and head on through. Six on the train. It must mean the six master detectives, including me, right? The answer has to be yes. Um, unless fucking robots, like androids or robots are a thing in this world, which we have not mentioned or clarified in any way. So the answer has to be yes. If I don't think the culprit is among the six on the train, then I should take the right path, which says no. But if I think the culprit is one of the six on board, I need to take the left path that says yes. Hmm. Which is it? There's only one truth. Mystery Labyrinth options. Questions relating to the case are asked in different forms inside the Mystery Labyrinth. Choose the correct answers and take me to the truth. What's well, uh, it's gonna be you. So, you think the culprit is one of the six on the train, right? Yep. It has to be. Right here! Is that right? Let's go. Do I, do I know yet? Uh? Can I go through now? Oh, you got it right? Not bad at all, Master. I think. Ah! S -s Something happened. 
Why? Did I make the wrong choice? It's trying to bury the truth again. Go get him, Master. No, okay. I think I made the right choice. He's just trying to cover it up. <laughs> Testimonies of two detectives. Let's have a look. Oh, this is so cool, too. Like, the UI of this looks actually really sick. So you, oh, go up and down to pick your, your thing. You see the key is going into my sword, too. So, testimonies of the two detectives. Uh, the map. I think it's got to be... It has to be this. Because this is, this is exactly why... Yeah, it's, it's got to be the, the testimonies of the two detectives. This is why it could only have been the people on board. Other than the six on the train... You must Come on. Had an you two Shit. Oh, oh. In that case, it all fits. Even if you couldn't do it alone, it was possible with an accomplice. You created an alibi for yourself. Drinking the coffee and knocking yourself out. Uh, no, it's not that. It was the first one. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got, it, I got it, I got it. You must have had an accomplice. Take this. What are my strength stat effects? Two master detectives used their abilities to prove that only six people were on the train. If it was only one person, they could have been lying or an imposter. But two of them means there can be no mistake. Yeah, unless they colluded Wrong. or some shit, but whatever. Your reasoning is completely off. Oh God, now what? Peacekeeper death report operation log. Let's have a look. Yeah, so they so they all burned to death. According to the operation log in the monitor in the backup control room, the train did not stop even once after its departure. I think it's this. What good does that testimony even do? Ugh. Your accomplice just wasn't there when those two checked. Ugh. The board after that. <laughs> so what if the windows don't open? You uh, secretly stopped the train. Nope. Your ah! this mystery. That is very satisfying to do. <laughs> Fucking literally just go. Ah! Backup control room's operation log showed that the Good train sounds. never stopped. Very crunchy. Ah! And the doors won't open unless the train stops. So it's impossible for someone to have gotten on during the trip. He's got an angry hoke there. Is anyone seeing this? How am I gonna be able to, to tell all this information to them after I leave? I have to like reiterate myself. Or do I write a police report? Looks like you're getting the hang of this, Master. You've learned to ruthlessly cut down any who stand in your way. Hell yeah, I am. Oh, I've, I've got a taste for blood now. You make it sound like I'm the bad guy here. Hey, I was wondering if the mystery labyrinth is trying to block people from seeking the truth, wouldn't it reject my answers, even if they're right? Hmm. Or maybe the questions themselves could be lies. No chance. A mystery labyrinth has no self-will. It can't lie or create things not based on the real-world mystery. This place is a direct manifestation of a mystery. You can always progress as long as you keep solving it. In that sense, the labyrinth is fair. It won't cheat you. I see. That's a relief. By the way, about the culprit being one of the six of you, how could the culprit commit the crime when all the other passengers besides you were dead? Good question. What the hell is that? Planet door. OK, 
Okay, now what? Another fork in the road. This is how we reach the truth. It reflects how problems are really solved, doesn't it? Well, I don't know if I've ever actually solved a mystery on my own. I don't remember it all. It doesn't matter. You just need to solve the mystery in front of us. I wonder if, if I give her my memories, I wonder if she knows all, like, if she has them. Like, she actually knows everything from my past, you know? Like, she still knows who I am and all about me. I mean, she obviously still, like, you know, obviously remembers me and remembers that, but, like, does she also know, like, everything from my own personal past through that, through her acquisition of that? Again? Ah! Everyone was dead, so how did the culprit pull it off? Say. Uh, oh, okay. This is interesting. Okay. This time, yours truly is going to help think it through. You just leave all the heavy lifting to your lovely mystery labyrinth guide. Yeah. Really? That'd be a big help. Everyone's dead, so how the culprit pulled off. Commit suicide after the crime. Played dead. So I could talk to her. Come on. So thick it here. Don't choose yet. Huh? Oh. Uh, uh, I guess I'll think about the opposite door. Oh, she's stopping me from going this way? I guess so. Ah, uh, come on. Let me solve myself. Let me think about it myself. Why would they... God, would they really kill themselves afterwards? I mean, I was thinking, like, it can't really be this because everybody... all the There were all bodies on there, right? So, like, commit suicide after the crime. I got it. Oh. Master, leave this to me. This has to be the right answer. Follow me. Hey, wait. <laughs> His fake expression. <laughs> uh oh. The culprit just played dead. Because if they did commit suicide after the crime, they'd be dead right now. Right. That's no fun at all. That assign it. No. That's your reasoning. Wait. What's this chain? I told you we share mind and body. The chain is proof of that. Interesting. Yeah. I, I guess this must have been. This must be based on real like Shinigami lore or some kind. Because this is exactly. This is in Bleach too, right? And those guys are Shinigami. Like Ichigo when he uh. Uh, actually, when actually when anyone turns into a hollow, it's like their uh, the chain around their neck essentially like disintegrates until eventually they become a hollow. And then I think, oh, that's right. And if your body is rem is removed, uh, your soul is removed from his body, the chain is like hooked to the body or something. I, I believe. A relationship can never be broken apart. Th that's terrible. Please. You should consider yourself lucky. You're being haunted by a cutie like me. This better be right. I'm so tired. I pulled you up here so you can walk the rest of the way yourself. I didn't ask you to do that. So you think this path will lead toward the truth, right? No idea. This is a labyrinth. It's pretty common to encounter dead ends. Hmm, okay. Whoa, watch out! Oh. Uh. You see, what did I tell you? Dead end. Don't sound so proud of yourself. You chose this path, Shinigami. So, okay. It's showing me what it's the game's just trying to show me what happens if I do end up picking the wrong one. Hmm. If it's a dead end, maybe the culprit wasn't just plain dead. I searched all five bodies, and they were, without a doubt, dead. Oh, so the answer isn't plain dead. Let's turn back. You changed your mind already? Exploring all possibilities is an important part of beating a mystery labyrinth. <laughs> I'm so awesome. I wonder if you like lose anything by picking the wrong one, though. Maybe just your time. 
But like, do I like lose stamina or anything? Oh! By the way, I did say I can guide you through the mystery labyrinth. But I'm not that good at solving mysteries. <laughs> you could have said that a little earlier. I just want to help. I like when you rely on me, Master. Anyway, what's going on in the real world while we're in the mystery labyrinth? Good question. Time has stopped on the other side. All right. We're sort of set apart from the normal flow of time while we're here. In other words, you're still surrounded by peacekeepers. Ah, fuck. So if we return without solving the mystery, we'll just be captured. Maybe we solve the mystery, will they even listen as to us? As a result, us? this murder case will remain unsolved and linger in people's memories as a serious crime. Naturally, this mystery labyrinth will also survive. And that creates an even bigger problem. Which is? Leaving a case unsolved means that it will go down in history that way. The more bizarre a mystery is, the more it attracts people's interest. And the more people rack their brains about that mystery, the bigger the mystery labyrinth gets. Hmm. Eventually, the mystery labyrinth would gain enough power to start affecting the real world. What the fuck? It would implant insidious ideas into people's minds, creating more murderers and, in turn, new mystery labyrinths. That's just like how the real world works. Mystery labyrinths can create endless cycles. That's why it's best to cut it off as soon as possible. It sounds way more daunting than I thought. back the other route is commit suicide after the crime there's no other option so it has to be the right answer hmm. i imagine at some point we're going to start having more than just two options so let's solve this thing sure to the answer now get to it all right But to commit suicide after the crime would mean after killing the other four, the culprit killed themselves, right? Yeah. Is that really the right answer? That seems kind of crazy. The mystery labyrinth's roots represent logical deduction. If there's only one route, it's the only possibility. I think the only option left is the culprit off himself. I just need to find that suicidal pest. Hmm. So my guess then would be either Zilch or Bagman. I'm thinking that he they stab themselves with the knife to off themselves before setting themselves on fire. What? What? What's going on here? What the fuck? This is part of the mystery materializing. You just need to solve it. Ah, uh, go on, Master! Concentrate! Ah! Ah, fuck me. My car ride! Come on, concentrate, concentrate! Whoa, whoa. Who was the last person to die during this incident? Uh, the culprit. If the culprit committed suicide after the crime, then the last person that died should be the culprit. Right, because they wouldn't be able to kill someone else if they off themselves already. Nice work. Okay. Come on, let's try again. Who set the fire to the dead culprit? Uh, the culprit. Of course, the person who started the fires must be the culprit. All five burned to death, so the culprit who died last totally burned himself. Right. Come on, let's try again. So I guess me. Who was the last person to be burned to death? I guess it has to be Bagman. Uh, fucking Apex. 
Whoops. Come on, let's try again. Uh, Zilch? The, the other four then set themselves on fire. Is Zilch? Because I guess the other ones were already dead at that point. Because he was, yeah. I, well, I, I don't know. And we had, we hadn't actually. I mean, the last body we came across, but that doesn't mean that he was the last one to set himself on fire. <laughs> but you know, setting aside the idea that the culprit was the last to die, why would it be Detective Four Eyes? Didn't we discover his body first? Right. According to the peacekeepers, the victims all burned to death, right? But when we first found Zilch in Car One, he wasn't burnt yet. If that's the case. That means he must have burned to death after that. Although everyone else we found after him had already died from burns. All right. So if they all burned to death, then the last one who died could be Detective Borax. I think the culprit killed everyone in the opposite order of how we found their corpses. Starting from car five, he killed them in order one by one, then set himself on fire in car one. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? What the fuck, Zilch? I mean, to be fair, he was one of the ones who supposedly could not reveal his power, right? Because there were no animals he could talk to. So, Detective Four Eyes is without a doubt the culprit, but he committed suicide, huh? Door. Mm, is it that simple? Whoa! It worked. See, I told you it would be fine. I'm such a terrific guide. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I guess it is. Go. Cool. Is that the end of it? I guess that's everything. Seems easier than I thought. What's wrong, Master? I'm wondering if that's really all that happened. Something about this seems... Yeah, it's kind of what I was thinking, too. I'm like, this feels... I, I, I don't know. It does? You think so? No, 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 no! Ah, what's going on? Conclusion. Zilch killed the, the other four. Conclusion? Is this the truth behind the case? There's only one door. No other options. Maybe this really is the end. Kind of a simple conclusion despite five people dying. Well, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, Master. Wait. Mystery labyrinths contain all the mysteries of the real-world case, including things like misdirection, right? Which means this could be an attempt by the culprit to mislead us. So, you don't think this is the truth? What makes you say that? I'm not sure, but I have a feeling the case isn't closed yet. There's too many variables that are, like, kind of missing here. The whole knife thing, the stab wound to, uh, to Aphex. If so, then this door could be a fake. How can we tell? If you think it's fake, why not try breaking it? It'll be bad news if you're wrong, though. Oh, really? And I won't tell you exactly what will happen. I don't want to affect your judgment. You've already affected my judgment. I guess the only way to find out is to destroy it. How do I do that? Open the... Oh, that's cool. This is actually really neat. So you can choose to accept the conclusion you've gotten to or keep going deeper. No. So it was fake. It was the culprit trying to throw us off the trail. <laughs> you said it just quit while you were ahead. 
It's rare for a fake exit to appear. This mystery labyrinth is way tougher than I thought. Master, don't let your guard down. Make sure you drop your money before you drop dead. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. Ah! All right, let's do it, fatty. I wonder if Master can even make. Oh God, here we go! Noise! Ah, oh, the noise is back. Mr. Phantom, sometimes throw out noise. These will obstruct your vision and get in the way. So use Master Solution Blade to cut them down. Are you gonna remember all of this? The more noise destroyed, the bigger the bonus you'll get later. So when it pops in front of you, be aggressive and attack. Sure hope you got all that down. The bonus for destroying noise is based on the max amount you just throw one cycle. Basically, there's no cap on how much you get. Or there, there basically is a cap on how much you get. I think I read that wrong before. I think I said no cap, but there is a cap on how much you can get. I mean, you can't just like, means if you, it, what it's trying to say here is if you fail it, and then do it again. You're not getting more every time. Yeah, knife of the corpse, Melamy's corpse. So let's have a look. When you must notice smoke him from a gap in the door, you look like through the window and found Zilcher the knife in his chest. Melamy's corpse discovered a cartoon. The entire body's burnt, but enough of the face remains to recognize her. I feel like the knife is going to be the, the answer here. Space Zilch. Ah, wrong thing. Zelchik is the only one who could have done the crime. Hmm. He burned the four passed out victims. Uh. And set himself on fire. Uh. Died from immolation. Uh, no. That was it, shit. If you think about it, it's an easy case to solve. Four murders, one suicide. That's the truth behind the case. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. So I can do it from any distance here. Get rid of the noise. Here we go. Take this. I don't know if I necessarily have to wait for that to get close to me or not, but I, I have no. been. Now that I think about it, Zilch's suicide by fire doesn't make sense. Because when I saw Zilch through the window, there was a knife in his chest. If he burned himself, then why would there be a knife stuck there? <laughs> you little brat. Fine. I'll answer you. Okay. Bloodstains on the interior lock, coughing the dining car. Probably the bloodstains. Uh, knockout drug pass on is potent enough to make anyone conscious. I think it's going to be this. Oh god, come faster. Uh, of course I know why. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. No, 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 no. Oh. Stabbed himself so he would pass out I think it was the, okay, no, it was the coffee. Set himself on fire. Oh shit, I think it might have been down. Yeah, that was duck. That was the first duck we'd actually had. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it was to knock himself out. Ah! This mystery. Yeah, I think I can be any distance for cutting it. I was pretty far away that time. His plan was to fall unconscious. He would have used the drugged coffee in the dining car. That's a much easier way to pass out. Getting in our demon way. I see. So they're trying to mislead you about the cause of death for Detective Four Eyes. Right. The peacekeeper said all the detectives burned to death. But Zilch's corpse in the first car is different. To me, it looked more like he was stabbed to death. So the peacekeeper's report was a lie? But they had no reason to do that. If they wanted to set you up as the culprit, they'd be raising questions by fabricating reports. Yeah, you're right. 
They all must have died by fire, after all. And for some reason, only Zilch appeared to have been stabbed to death. I get it. So that's what was bothering me. But no matter how hard I think about it, I can't seem to figure out what happened next. Huh? Why's that? I don't have enough clues about Zilch in the first car. I should have investigated it more after discovering the body, but I was too preoccupied with calling for help. So we're stuck right here. I don't see any other routes to break through this mystery. I don't even know what mystery we gotta solve right now. Can we go back and investigate? But I do know there can't be a labyrinth without a goal. The truth is always behind a mystery. You wish you had investigated more, right? So, you think you'd have the answer if you'd done that? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, maybe. So if we can get out of here. Oh, fine. My secret weapon is so draining, I try to avoid using it as much as possible. But I just love it when you rely on me, Master. I have a bad feeling about this. What are you trying to do? What the fuck, she widen up? This is all for you, Master. No, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ready, Master? No, no. Wait. What the? Oh! Ow. What the hell? Ow. She knocked the memory out of me? Whoa. What's going on? <laughs> okay, poor I'm Yuma. Extracting your memory and materializing it inside the mystery labyrinth. This is my super cute special weapon. See, if you investigate here, you might make some new discoveries. Oh, the shock from all this is making my head spin. You don't have any time to waste, Master. This was pumped out of that slow brain of yours, so don't assume it'll stick around for long. You have until the pain in your head clears up. Now hurry and investigate. Got it. I'll hurry. Crime scene recreation. I assume I don't actually have a timer, right? Because I think this is probably going to be a good spot to end things here for now, guys. This is actually really cool. I'm actually digging this a lot. <laughs> Poor Yuba. <laughs> Poor Yuba. That's why. That's why I feel like right. I was like, ah, this poor little dude just had to put up with all this crazy shit. Very fun. It's definitely. It, this one's definitely got my head kind of spinning here. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I'm glad it's not. It, it like at least to me it doesn't seem super obvious. Like, it, I'm glad it's not, like, super obvious, like, for example, like, the first case of Diner Pill 1, which is, like, you know, literally, they, they write the name of the killer on the wall, like, it was so, so obvious right off the bat. So I'm glad it's not like that. I don't know. Like, I think it could be, like, Aphex, because his is definitely the weirdest body out of everybody's. But his also had a stab wound as well. I don't know. The fact his was, but, like, that's all the bodies, right? So unless they pulled another body out, like, I don't know, something weird's going on. We just... Something fucking weird's going on. I feel like we're missing an important piece of information that we still got to get, so. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode as much as I did. Uh, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a Peaky Penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.